wherever you are, you can kindly turn your attention to the multimedia screen. If you cannot see directly, you can watch them from the screen. In about 30 minutes, they will be experiencing every single thing that they will be that the housemates will be experiencing. Come. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. By this time next week, Sunday, yes, we are getting a new season of Big Brother Niger, the season nine. I mean, are we excited or what? Well, I am excited. We've waited for something that seems like a very long time because they did not give us reunion. So what are we going to do? Anyways, next week Sunday, 7 p.m., Big Brother is opening its house to other housemates that are going to be made quite famous, yes. And we don't actually know how many people are entering the house. What we actually do know is they are going in as pairs. Now, some people have been speculating, like plenty rumors, plenty rumors on these streets. And I'm here to tell you those rumors are lies. First, they've been saying that, oh, it's not Ebuka that is going to be hosting. Why would they not make Ebuka the host when they already announced it earlier? Like, duh. Because Ebuka was not at the press conference does not mean that he's not going to be the host. Number two, people are speculating and saying that, oh, the team of this year is dynamic duo. Like, how dumb can that be? Because how can it be dynamic duo when they already mentioned that in the advert? We all know we do not get the team of the season until Ebuka says it on stage. So, don't believe them. Now, they've been parading this set of pictures that I'm showing you guys here, saying that these are the contestants. Again, every season we get this. At the beginning of every season, we get this. Lies. We actually do not know the people that are entering the house, at least not yet. There's been speculations that some of your influencers and TikTok celebrities are part of this season. We keep our fingers crossed for that. Yes, but I mean, we are actually geared up for this. But what you might not really expect this season is what I'm about to tell you. Big Brother, yes, you know, Big Brother said we are having duos, couples, siblings, whatever, coming into the house. But but one person is going to go away with the prize money of 100 million. And it's also quite interesting that they reduce the prize money from 120 million that you live by you one 200 million naira yeah it's quite interesting maybe because there are other prizes to be won aside from that and also the person is getting a car but you live by you to get a car but whichever one shall what you are not going to expect that i'm asking you to expect is that big brother is going to unpair them at some point in the show and he's going to repair like a reshuffle like Compare them from their initial pairs and put them up with other people. So it's going to be interesting. You know how they did that in the double Ohala season? Yeah, when um CC was paired with, I think, um Lulu. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so it's going to be happening, I think, a lot in the house. So imagine you coming into the house with maybe your boyfriend. You're thinking, okay, I'm going to stick with my boyfriend all through the season. And then people that you know, switches you guys and then maybe takes your boyfriend to that girl you are thinking the girl does not like me and all of that. It's going to be spicy. And I'm here for all that spice and tea. Yes, guys. Okay, yesterday there was, you know, the Big Brother Niger fan experience at Ikeja, Lagos. I actually did join their Instagram live. I was expecting the Big Brother Niger experience. I mean, yeah, fans won prizes and all of that, but did it actually give the Big Brother experience? Ah, maybe because I wasn't there, but from what I saw, it wasn't giving that. I mean, it wasn't really giving the Big Brother experience. So I put in that glass house, you know, Big Brother kind of spoke to them, which I didn't really hear Big Brother's voice like that, you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it would be. It was basically them using it to kind of market the brands and all of that. I think that was what happened. But it's sure good that the fans got something. But was it like the Big Brother experience, Big Brother experience? Not really. But, I mean, we should give them A for effort. Is that B? E for effort. I mean, C for effort. Whichever one shall. But, honestly, nah. I think they should do more. I mean, yes, they know that they have us. But, also, um, DSTV has lost some subscribers. I mean because of the economic crunch and everything they should do more to ginger us to watch you can't just say okay because you're a big brother yes we are gonna watch but then maybe they have something up their sleeves i mean they did not give us a reunion that probably would have gingered us but whichever one sha we day we got a day men day <laughs> yes okay 
Okay, um, before I get into what my expectations for this season is going to be, let's talk about something I saw on the timeline where a fan was calling out, um, or basically indirectly calling out a Big Brother Niger ex-housemate while giving advice to the new housemate that are going to be entering the house. So this is what the fan said um, to new housemate, to the new housemates, please, when you come out and you are unable to deliver merch you're selling, please don't sell. It's very embarrassing when you take advantage of standship. Now, when I saw this, I was like, who is this person making reference to? Because I mean, I don't know or I've not heard of any housemate that actually did not deliver until Shex actually put out this tweet and said, um, under the tweet and said, if you want to at me, come direct seats. Don't claim to be a real supporter when you are not. Want a problem or cause or if something goes wrong, you bring it to the TL. It's very fake and immature. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's all I can say. Like, wow. Honestly, my mind did not go to Shex. But now that he has claimed that he's the one that has been, you know, yeah. Wow, what are your thoughts? Oh, I don't have a thought. Because for me, I feel like if somebody has bought something from you, whether you're a big brother, Niger, ex-housemate, business person or whatever, deliver what they bought. And if there is any circumstances that makes you not to be able to deliver when you said you deliver, inform your customer. It's simple customer service. I mean... I don't know what this is all about. I mean, yeah. Anyways, what are your thoughts about this whole Shag situation? You know, um, it's even funny <laughs> that the person did not even call his name. Oh, he did not call the girl. Did not call his name, and he claimed it. Well, if he did not claim it, how are we going to have something to talk about? Anyways, let me know your thoughts on that. Now, now talking about the new show, I actually want to see, and I hope they actually picked housemates that are that have character strength of character i want housemates that there is no in between right it's either you love them or you hate them there is no in between that's the kind of housemates i want to see this season iconic housemates housemates like mercy ak tacha fina um pere ozo saga housemates like cc you know t boss bisola because these people i've mentioned there are other ones that have actually left their mark you know in the signs of time of the big brother house there are other ones like that but at least with this you've got you've gotten an idea what i'm looking for i want housemates that i either will hate or love okay hate is a strong word but i mean there are people that just hate people for no reason i want housemates that give me something i do not want housemates that are lukewarm that are looking at the camera i don't want a housemate that is trying to pander to what you know the audience would think I don't want that kind of housemate. I want housemates that will stand out. So, I mean, look at these housemates I've mentioned. Tasha, for example, there are people that literally hated Tasha when she was in the house. I mean, Tasha was so iconic that a lot of people started using her as a point of reference or a teachable moment. It was that bad. And for everybody that disliked Tasha, there was a lot of people that loved her, e.g. me. Yes. So, I want housemates like that. Housemates like Messi AK that will go there and shake things up. Yes. Housemates like Pere that loves being a villain. And for every time people talk bad about him, there are people that stand up to defend him. Housemates like Ozo that will give himself or herself solely to love. You know, like Saga. People that we can say, oh, this one don't move for love. And for every time we call them that, there are people that are saying, oh my goodness, this is the best housemate. We do not want housemates with our character. That's why when, you know, one of the MDs of uh, multi-choice Nigeria talked about the camera time or the screen time they give to housemates and said, if you are doing nothing, there's no way the camera will be on you. I totally support that. I totally support that because I'm tired of watching Big Brother and seeing that, okay, well, something they happen for outside. People are doing something and you're just showing me people that are snoring. If I wanted people that will snore, I know where to get them. Yeah. So I actually want people that are iconic because it's a dynamic, it's a duo. I don't want people that will just come there to just, you know, act as other people's scripts, not be original, be people be someone that people will remember be someone that people can go out of their way to love i mean look at what happened with fina fina i mean people love her and as many people as love her there are also many people that dislike her so that is what i want and i hope and pray they actually did make a good selection this season and not you know 
try to do this whole favoritism or Nigerianism with the show. But anyways, I'm looking forward to it. What are your thoughts? What are your expectations? This season, I'm all about love. You know, other seasons, I've always been all about basmos. <laughs> but this season, I'm gonna bore you guys with a lot of shit. Ah, no, I just want love. I just want love. I just want love. But then again, yeah, I mean, what's life without a little basmos? Yes, I love the drama. I love the basmos. Yes, I love the tea yes i mean welcome to another season of knowing about people's life what they did the tweets that they tweeted and i hope their handlers have gone ahead to clean up their social media whatever because ah it's gonna be it's gonna be ah uh, it's gonna be tough if there is like a trace of oh you tweeted against a particular ex-housemate or you said something that you're not supposed to say on twitter on facebook on instagram and people find it if you have a girlfriend that you need to pacify, better go pacify her now. We already know what happened in one season about one housemate and the girlfriend was talking, I beg, but I mean, don't pacify her still. Let's all have something to talk about. But honestly, I am excited for this season because Big Brother is bringing in a dynamic, a different dynamic from what we've seen before. And I honestly hope that they carry it out to the T and not get swayed because of what the audience or the viewers are saying because Nigerian viewers are like this. They do not have a particular bearing and they can easily change their mind and start doing their emotional whatever. Yes, we can get emotional, but Big Brother should put his foot down because that is what the show should be all about. Will I have a favorite this season? I honestly do not know. I shall just want find men that I can crush on. Big Ray, that's me. I don't know if I'm going to have a fave. Yes, I'm entering this season on a clean slate. Not trying to compare with anybody. I might, but then again, I just want to have fun. I want to love love. I want drama. Ah. Anyways, let me know your, what your expectations are. On that note, I'd like to say everybody, thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Me Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead. Bye, guys.